Hi guys, welcome back. Hope everyone is doing great. Uh, thank you so much for the 1,000 and over subscriber and for the, the returnees. Thank you so much. And for those that has just joined, you're welcome, a warm welcome. Continue to like, to share, and to subscribe to this channel. And whatever the Lord has laid on my heart to share with you, then I am here to encourage you. I am here to help somebody as a songwriter's song is song. If I could just help somebody as I travel along, then I know that my labor will not be in vain. Glory to God. So thank you all. Thank you so much for what you're doing. And even the live that I did the other night, on Sunday night, even though the internet was giving a bit of trouble, but I know that the Lord was there with us and to God be the glory, great things we have done. Glory to God, we managed to go through in spite of. And so I am here this morning to encourage somebody as it has laid on my heart. I'll just go straight into it. And before I get into it, um, I must say, you know, I haven't posed a lot of stuff because of my work, because of my job. I don't post a lot, so I have to kind of navigate that with my 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 twins, because the twins are now t um, 10 months, so I have to navigate, I have to multitask with my job and the twins and, and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I have other stuff um doing so you know i have to multitask and kind of you know get everything to put in place but i am here as long as the lord has placed something on my heart for you then i'm gonna come i'm gonna get right into it i just have a few minutes with you but i'm going to share what the lord has laid on my heart so what i want to encourage you about this morning is that God is fighting for you. God is fighting for you. Don't think that you're fighting this battle on your own. God is fighting for you. And that is the reason why you're still here because God is fighting for you. Yes, God is fighting for you. You, you, you may feel as if that, you know, sometimes God is not there and you are all left alone and you, you feel like you're forsaken and you're forgotten, but God is fighting for you. You see, one thing I know is that God is not a partial God. In his word, he said that he will fall the rain upon the just and the unjust. God don't have any fear for it. Everybody, God love everybody. God just don't like sin. But he loved everybody. He loved, he loved the sinners and he loved the Christian. God is not a partial. God is not like man. Mankind are favorite. And, and mankind, mankind partial. But God is not a partial God. God is a loving God. And sometimes we say, oh, we love God. We love God. But guess what? don't love our brothers and our sister we don't we don't love our brothers and our sister and if we don't love our brothers and sister then it, we're not we're not making any sense because we can't love God because we don't see God where is God where is God God is inside of us we are God's hands and feet we are his mouthpiece and he said our body is his temple and that's where we dwell so if we can't love our one another then we don't love God. And that's why, you know, when it came to me this morning that God is fighting for us. God is fighting for you. You may not, the situation that you're, you're going through may, may, may seem detrimental and it may look like there is no way out. And you, you, you may be crying, you, you may be wondering, why, why am I, you know, because we do sometimes question the Lord, why am I going through all of this? What, what did I do? Job did. He questioned God. But God started to talk to Job. I think it was in the 24th chapter of Job. And God started to speak to Job. 
He said, listen, where were you when I was farming the earth? Where were you when all of this? May I create this? You did you weren't exist. So God is literally saying that, guess what? I know what you're going through because I am the one who recommend you to the devil. So I know what you're going through. And you, are, you don't do anything. So today, all we have to do, it is for us to love one another. Be there for one another. That's all we have to do, you know, people. My people, all we have to do. Be there. You be there for me. I be there for you in whatever way. Because guess what? My situation may not be your situation. Your situation, everybody have, everybody have a situation. And one of the things that I look at, things that came to me this morning, is that everybody's going through something. Everybody have a situation going through. It may not be mine, but everybody, if you look, even the rich people, they have issues they are going through. Because sometimes the people, them, them rich and them can, them can waste money or throw away money. That's how they have it like that. But guess what? They are not happy. And they mafia watch over them. They, they mafia watch them back. They're not happy. Sometimes the wife not happy because guess what? Because the, uh, the man have it more. The man treat the woman as in a particular way. Make the woman feel less than herself. And because probably the, the woman, because it's a, sometimes it's a, a here, sometimes it's a here they have lived together and they do not really have anything outside of that relationship to go to. They hold on, they, it's like they stuck to it and they stuck to everything. So the woman not happy. Sometimes the man, if, if vice versa, the husband not happy either because sometimes the wife have it more. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, somebody not happy. Sometimes a boyfriend and girlfriend and a peer problem. A peer problem in this world. This is a problem where I was at work yesterday and I was talking to one of my co-workers and I was saying, it, it, it is so, it is, this world is so full of evil and darkness. And it's not the earth itself, it is mankind. Because what? We don't have any love for each other anymore. But no matter what you're going through, no matter what it look like, God is fighting for you. God is fighting for you. And him not partial. Him not fight for Christian. And him not fight for some people because it, um, some people say, Oh, me go to church every Sunday. Me go to church every Saturday. Me, go, me, 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 me pay me tithes and me offering. And me give to the poor. And me feed this and me feed that. And me do this and me... No, no, no. God, those things don't impress God. You know what impress God? is the life of living. It is the art. That is what impress God. When you live a clean art. Because sometimes it is so sad to say, but those that are out in the world, and, and, and I know that I am on the media, but it's sad to say, sometimes those that in the world, that when I go to church, them, them have a better art than some people who are going at church, in a church. Them have a better art, a better mindset. And I don't know like me, I tell it so bad what I told. And, and for those people, no, 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 but I write them off and things to say, oh, because them not go to church. If that man or that woman has been chosen for God, church no have to call him, pastor no have to call him, evangelist no have to call him, a God I call him, because when God touch the heart, no matter where they are, no matter their situation, no matter how callous and devious they are, they are going to come to God because they are, they are destined. Your destiny is even born, and nobody can stop that. I am here to encourage somebody, and I am here to tell somebody that your situation no come to kill you. Your situation no, you no come to kill you. Your situation, your situation no come to kill you. God is fighting for you. God is fighting on your behalf, and God see every tears that you're crying. God see every hurt and him see every pain and him hear every cry where you call. 
He may not come, we don't call him, but he promised that he's going to come right on time. You are hurting, you, are, you, feel so, you feel so bad in yourself sometimes that you don't even want to see anybody. You, you don't even want to speak to anybody. The problem, the, the problem is so crucial. Problem in the workplace, problem in the home, problem in the school, problem in the marketplace. I just pure trouble, a pure trouble, and everybody is going through. You know, I, I was there and I was trying to just multitask, you know, and I was saying, it just came to my spirit that so many are going through. So many are going through. It, 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 it is so, and if some people should have talked some things that they are going through, you would never know. Sometimes you look at your situation and you think that you are going through something. But if you should check some people where they might go through, you would never you you would say to yourself that I got really go through nothing. Because if the sister they are the brother they are the man or the woman they are go through something, they not go through nothing. Have you ever listened to some people's story and hear where they might go through and when you look at your story as you have to look at look back in yourself and say why? I forgive God thanks, you know. I forgive God thanks. God see the cry of his people. And he's fighting for you. And that's the word for this morning. God is fighting for you. And all my, my subscriber. God is fighting for you. And, and, and anywhere in the world you are today. Dry up your tears. Because God is fighting for you. Dry up your tears. No man did never see your tears. Yes, me know say it hard sometimes. You know, sometimes I, I, I said to myself, I don't even know how I got you. I don't know how I got you, but God himself is fighting for me. And I can't complain. And no matter how the situation is, no matter how detrimental is, me I forgive God thanks. Because when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me, my soul cry out, hallelujah, thank God for saving me. I am not going to give up on God because of what I am going through. And I am encouraging somebody not to give up. Nobody in your life, nobody look to the left or look to the right and start to do some things. Because you say, God, now nah, show sure. a long time. Somebody tell me one time that him call God, him call God, and he not get no answer. So he go back out in the world. The devil not have nothing to offer. God is fighting for you. So any situation we are in, right now when I look at the marriages you now, God had deal marriage. But when you look at the marriage you now, you have to wonder, see how it really happened. Because the devil let loose. When you look, so many things are happening. The children, them are at one different sort of way. And you have to wonder, say, what is happening? But all we have to do is to pray. Because people are going to. God is fighting for you. And if God never did a fight for some of I don't know what would have become of us. I don't know what would have become of us if God wasn't fighting for some of us can't sleep some people can't sleep some people can't even sleep some people can't even sleep because of what they are going through builds pile up on builds and you don't know where the first one is coming from but the word of God declared that the Lord will supply our needs according to his riches in glory Sometimes some things are happening and you wonder, say, why all of these things? Are, no, you don't have to wonder, just trust God in everything that you are doing. God is fighting for you. The world are cry out. A pure crying upon the world. Pure crying, pure tears. All across the nation a pure crying. But one of these days, my people, one of these days, all of these things is going to be over. All of these things are going to be over. One of these days, there's not going to be no more sorrow, no more pain, no more heartaches, no more stress, no more problem, no more sickness. None of these things, because guess what, we're going to a place where none of these things cannot enter there. It is pure joy, peace, love. God is fighting for you, my people. Young girl, 
God is fighting for you. Young boys, God is fighting for you. So just remember that God is fighting for you. He's fighting for you. You don't, you, you don't have to give up. Don't give up. It's not over until God said it is over. And it can't, it, sometimes it has to get worse to get better. But God is fighting for you. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. Have a good day. Until we meet again, take care of yourself. <laughs> God bless you.